Hey guys, this is Silly Cat 2. Welcome back for more Hero of Dreams. In the last episode, we made it about halfway into Fort Wolfblin. And in this episode, we'll hopefully make it all the way up to the boss. First, you gotta burn this thing. Yeah, see, these are like guys that look like they can't decide whether they're dogs or pigs. Ooh, whatever. Nobody cares, except me. <laughs> Kill all the enemies in that screen, and we can go over here. And there's a key under this grass. Let's go down here and see what's down here. I think it's just Donmore. Yeah. What's he have to say? The boss in this dungeon is Wolfblin, leader of the Moblins. I heard that an arrow to his eye is the way to defeat this foe. Of course, because where else would an arrow go? <laughs> and as our map says, we'll be getting the bow and arrow in this dungeon. So that's good. Something that doesn't really make sense is why do all of the. If you're a boss of a dungeon, why do you have the items in a dungeon which are the only things that can defeat you? It's like. I don't know. If Ganon was planning all this out, wouldn't it make it a lot more annoying to have all the dungeons and different items and guarded by the bosses there? It's like. If you're guarding the item you're weak against, wouldn't that make a lot more sense? Instead of making Link get the items first and then try to defeat you? I mean, seriously, think about it. <laughs> Nintendo logic. <laughs> and technically, this game wasn't even made by Nintendo, this is just the big Nintendo fan. Speaking of Nintendo, guess what game I got on last week? Alright, give up. <laughs> I got New Super Mario Bros. Wii. It's really awesome. I It's a game I highly recommend. Maybe once I get a video capture card or something, I'll do a Let's Play of it. Or something. I don't know. It seems like it would be a fun game to play. To let's play, rather. Alright, there's our boss key. <coughs> Alright, mock speed. have a place to go to. Or, you know what I mean. I hope you know what I'm talking about, cause I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, that just takes us back outside. Alright, cutting. Alright, now we're back down here. And if we cut these vines, we can go in here and get the arrow.
Alright, next up is to get caught by the guards. As dumb as that sounds. Yeah, I'm not the best Zelda player at mock speed, <laughs> but whatever. Haha, -ha, you do not pass go, you don't collect 200 rupees. <laughs> That's funny. That's like, that could have been an earthbound or something, I don't know. Alright, now what we want to do is... Actually, we don't do that just yet. Instead, we go up this way. Yeah, see, there's a locked block we need to get rid of. So we go out this way, and now we're outside again. And we're behind the fort, actually. See? That's the main entrance, which we'll be going to at a later point in the Let's Play. To get that guard to work, you gotta use combo cycling, I believe. Which is actually pretty simple if you know what you're doing. It's just you have a combo that runs through its animation and then changes into another combo. That's the only way you can get a combo to cycle types instead of just animating. <coughs> I believe if we go over here we can get some... Yeah, see there's some rupees here. Now we go this way and kill Aquamentus. But first, we gotta get rid of that bush. Six hits is all it takes. Not too difficult. Ow. Then we go down here. Slash this. Walk along the wall and then light the torch. Then we go up here... Yeah, it's here. And you take a key. And I believe if you shoot that shield thing on the wall, those barriers are lower, allowing you to get a heart piece. We'll come back for that later when I have the arrows. Do I have the bow? No, I have the arrows. I need the bow. Alright, so now I just go down this way. There's a switch to take you back up. Not that we need to go back up. Now we're in the main courtyard of the area. And if we press this, we can easily get back into the Lost Woods. Now would be a good time to save, but I don't feel a need to save right now. So instead, we go up this way. Slash that chest. And then light this torch. That seals off all the guards in the area, except the ones in the back of the courtyard. So now we can come and go at will. Walk under the wall there, where the floor borders go into the wall, to find a switch that opens this door. Then you can unlock this block block, and assuming you have the boss key, you can get the bow. To shoot an arrow, which costs a rupee you just equip the arrows. See? There's our heart key, and that makes our seventh heart key? Heart piece, and that makes our seventh heart. <coughs> Alright, we have everything we need to face the boss now. But, we'll be doing that in the next episode. 
So, if you like what you see, subscribe to my videos, big yellow button up in the corner, give me a 5 star review down below this video, and be sure to check out my other stuff. This is Silly Cat 2, I will be seeing you later.